in Limpopo, the focus shifted to world, uh, a World Heritage Site, the Mapungu Kubwe National Park. It's the origin of an influential kingdom that traded gold and ivory with countries as far as Arabia, India and China. Mapungupwe, an ancient African kingdom, established on the Mapungupwe Hill 800 years ago. It is at the confluence of the Limpopo and Sashe rivers, today the borders of South Africa, Botswana and Zimbabwe. The kingdom lasted for 80 years and at its height had a population of 5,000 people. It would culminate in the creation of the kingdom of Zimbabwe in the 13th century. And wherever you go in Mapungubwe National Park, it feels like you are walking on this ancestral grounds. It gives you goosebumps if you walk in Mapungubwe. So you've got the biodiversity, you've got the confluence where the three countries meet, Botswana, South Africa and Zimbabwe. And on top of all of that, you are sitting with Mapungubwe National Park, which carries the highest order of South Africa, which is the order of Mapungubwe. About 50 people, including the king, his wives, servants and guards, lived on the top of the hill. Archaeologists excavated the famous golden rhino and other evidence of the wealthy kingdom. Artifacts are kept in a museum. Well, Mapungupwe is important to us as a nation, firstly for us to understand our cultural heritage as a people. But in terms of tourism, in terms of attracting people to understand our, our heritage, our history, who we are, where we came from, it is a key attraction. Mapungupwe was declared a World Heritage Site in 2003 and a national park the following year. The empire of the people of the sun is where all the different tribes in southern Africa dispersed and they believed in the queen and son of heaven called Muwali or Muhali. So that's why this is the beginning because uh, if you want to know the history of all the peoples of southern Africa, that's its where, this is where it begins. A popular tourist destination, the park is also home to a variety of wildlife, including more than 600 elephant and the iconic baobab. Philip van der Walt, SABC News, Mapungupwe.